G'day guys, Warren from Under NZ. There's been a bit of talk on Facebook, uh, people saying how good they are at their duck calling, and I just want to do a little video to teach people uh, just how to tune the duck call. Um, see how the good guys um, become so good, really. And the couple here we sell the banded calls, um, little bud and big bud. Um, big bud's a louder option, um, it's got the bigger exhaust on it, so to speak. I'll uh, just take it out of the packet, show you how we do it. Um, the standard is exactly how it comes. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, as you can see, that that's a bit uh, uh, what do you call it? a bit sharp, a bit raspy, but bit uh, high pitched. Um, what you do with these calls, you just pull the reed out a little bit till you get it right, and you know it's length, length, lengthen the reed and it does longer. But what I want to show you today is um, I'll just cut another one. Cut another reed. Be quite a bit longer than that one. I say it's uh, just I've got a couple of three cutters that I use for cutting reeds with people. That one you can see there is it's four mil longer. You'll say so. It will give this one will give a flatter call. It's a little bit narrow, but basically got the same dog ears. The dog ears is the, is the uh, angles on the top, and um, that's part of the core you you never really want to touch. So so when you're tuning, um, first thing you want to do cut the reed like this. You want to take all the burrs off here. Just this is my uh, wife's nail file, it's a little bit of a nail polisher and you, from the, the real polishing side you just go over the reed, take any burrs off that could be there that could um, really just, just change the pitch quite significantly. You put it in, push it down. The idea of this is um, so when you, when you get your call and um, get to your mind mind you've got it all good five minutes into it you feel the need to have a bit of bacon egg pie you blow your core and you fill it up with uh, food and uh, you pull it apart and the core's never the same for the rest of the weekend without a lot of shagging around so now we've got the new reed we've pushed it in as far as we can we've got this little uh, rub wedge in there a lot on the cork um, the cork can swell up a bit and get tighter where the rubber compounds tend to be uh, a little bit user friendly put it back in this, I would say, will sound a bit flat, but we'll see. Yep, so what we want to do now is just pull it apart. Um, you saw earlier, I always pull the reed out first and then everything comes. It was four, nearly four mil longer, so when we go to tune, you don't want to touch that end. You want to cut from the back, so we'll just cut a little bit off. Right, now we've cut one and a half mil off. We just want to um, just polish any burrs off it again, give it another word. We're, we're taking something you just about can't see off. We'll put it all back together. Like so, the idea is, you know, it goes right back in again. Push everything back in hard and firm and tight. Don't move, we'll see how it goes. See, it can still go a bit more. Um, probably now I'll just just polish it. Um, just keep polishing the back of it off, the, the coarser side. To give you an idea, with all the JJ Lears calls we sell and all the reeds that they uh, they come with, the difference in them and every one is five thou. So um, you know they come with oh, ten or so different sets of reeds for the JJ Lears. And so five thou is, is, is basically um, we want to be taking off half that every time to, to get it right. As you can see, it, that's getting pretty good now. And um, yeah, I can keep playing with it a bit more. But for the uh, purposes of what I tried to show you is uh, uh, that's what you do. So now when you get to the mine mine, you put your bloody apple pie, whatever, down the end of it. You just pull it apart. Pull the reed out, clean it, put it back in, push it all the way in, put it back together, and back into business. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps. Have a good shoot. Cheers.